Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is a quick tutorial on how to install user-generated content in Little Big Planet on the PlayStation 3 emulator RPCS3. Although this emulator can't connect to the PSN servers to fetch any of this content itself, you can still enjoy quite a bit of what the community has created over the years thanks to the Little Big Archive, a project dedicated to preserving all of the great fan-made content from all of the games in the Little Big Planet series. Before we get too far though, I do want to mention that in order to play this game and to use any of this content on RPCS3, you will need to fully update your game. You'll find a link to all of the updates for each version of the game in the description. To install them, just drag and drop them into RPCS3, either all at once or in order one by one. Now that your game should be working, all that you need to do to install fan-made content is to follow the link in the description to the Little Big Archive website. Once you're there, just head into your game, and then into the content that you'd like to install. For this video, I want to install levels in Little Big Planet 1. Once you've downloaded the archive, extract it with a program like 7-Zip, and let's take a look inside. Within the Save Data folder in this directory, you'll find a whole bunch of folders that start with BCUS. Each one of these is an individual level that can be installed in the game. You don't need to rename these to match your game's serial or anything. Just copy them as they are and open up your RPCS3 directory. Head into Dev HDD0, then Home, then this folder that ends in 1, and then into Save Data. Paste the folders in here, and then go ahead and load up your game. Once you're in the pod, head over to your moon and select an empty spot, and then hit Import. Just find the map that you want to import, and then you should be able to jump right in. Just keep in mind that some of these levels rely on glitches and the manipulation of mechanics that may not be perfectly replicated in RPCS3. So while the base game is playable, you may experience issues such as random crashes, graphical glitches, and some slowdowns with some of the more demanding user-generated content. Nonetheless, the vast majority of the levels that I tested were very playable, and between RPCS3 and the Little Big Archive, it's awesome to see that this game and the products of its community are being preserved so well. Thanks to the ongoing efforts of the Little Big Archive, thousands of community levels for these games have already been dumped, although less than 150 have been uploaded for the first game so far. The creator of this project has mentioned that they intend to add more content to the site now that the games are becoming playable on RPCS3, so hopefully we'll see this expand quite a bit in the near future. For now, if you want to stay up to date with the Little Big Archive, you can follow them over on Twitter at LBigArchive for the latest news related to the project. And if you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave a comment below or join my Discord channel for support. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this, along with monthly update recaps and all sorts of other emulation related content. And of course, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.